So I was watching a video on the new TAF and Boundaries uh, clutch system on Kev Central. It's always really good, high quality videos uh, that he makes. And uh, there was there seemed to be a lot of confusion about the clutch system. And here I have a Shimano SLX 11 speed on one of my bikes. And I, I wasn't clear if the clutch mechanism that he shows is actually a true clutch. This Shimano SLX has a true clutch and to be a clutch it has to have a one-way mechanism or a directional mechanism. So basically with the clutch engaged what happens is you have resistance going forward but it moves back freely so that there's always tension on the chain. However as you're bouncing around this doesn't move forward very easily and the chain doesn't lose too much tension. So as you can see right here, I'm having a hard time. Now I'm going to apply force and you might be able to actually hear as the clutch mechanism or the axle actually breaks the resistance or beats the resistance and moves. All right, now I'm going to let it go and it's going to snap back. So forward, there was a lot of tension. It just snaps back. There's no resistance going backwards. That keeps the tension on here. So tension, no tension. If I release, no tension and no tension. So let's take a look at that clutch mechanism. So here is the wheel that connects through an axle to the cage in the back, okay? This is the C-clamp, and this is where the cam tightens that C-clamp against the outside of that wheel. Now, the differences between what I saw on the Schwinn and what, I, what Shimano, for example, has is, so very similar, you have a bolt here where you can tighten that, the C-clamp, and then the cam right here as it turns will, I'm going to hold this down so it doesn't come apart, right there. As the cam turns, you can see the C-clamp closing, okay? So now the C-clamp here became tighter and closed up, pinching this. So what does that look like when it turns? So right it's 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 hard to turn because it's there we go so you notice how the whole thing is turning and the resistance is made by the c-clamp now watch as it goes back this is going to stay static and that's the clutch you see that there's no, that is not moving yet the cage moves freely so no movement this way there goes movement no movement that's what makes this a clutch. So apparently when you look at the Schwinn, it seems like this is one solid piece. And therefore, you can it, it's not directional. If you tighten it, you get resistance going forward. You get resistance going backwards. That's not a true clutch. Now again, on the video, uh, it doesn't show if that is the case. I put, did post that uh, question at, on Kev's site and hopefully he'll answer with there, if there's an actual clutch, a, a one-way bearing in there or not. So again, whole assembly moves, whole assembly stays still. Let's go ahead and disengage. So now this is disengaged. So now when I go forward, it moves just freely. Again, still one way, but now I don't have the forward resistance when that whole assembly moves. So if I want to check the tension on this or adjust the tension on that to the correct specs, like I said, you could uh, use a torque wrench and it'll click, or even better yet, you can use one of these torque wrenches, the dial torque wrench, which is actually what you should use. A lot of people don't have these at, at home. You would connect it here, and then you would check 
there. <clears throat> now another question there was, why would you want to have a release on this mechanism? Well, when you take your rear wheel off, it is very difficult if this is locked or if this won't pivot, it is very difficult to remove the chain and get it off the sprocket. So you undo your clutch and now you can move this derailleur away from the sprocket and release that wheel easily. Once you're done, you, whoa, 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 where'd it go? Hook your clutch back on and you're set. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you like my other videos. And again, thanks for watching.